I now declare today Kevin Feige Day in Hollywood. Take it away, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, until this day, I thought the most nerve-wracking thing was public speaking. Now I know the most nerve-wracking thing is just standing there while other people speak about you. Uh, but thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you uh, to the city of Hollywood, to the Chamber of Commerce. Obviously, this is a dream come true. My parents, who I'm so thankful, are here today. I love you would bring me out here and my sister when I was a kid from New Jersey. Once or twice we came to LA, we'd go to Disneyland, we'd go to Universal Studios, and we would come here to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I would run with my, with my disposable film camera and take pictures of the stars of the people I knew, but I would make mental notes of the many, many names I didn't know. And when I got home, I would go to the school library and pull out an encyclopedia, because this is how long ago it was, and look up the names that I didn't know here on the, on the Walk of Fame. And that is how I learned about people who are now my favorite writers and directors and producers. Uh, so I'm incredibly proud to continue that legacy uh, of those who helped make the magic behind the scenes, behind the scenes, and we get our names on this, uh, on this street. Um, it is surreal that, that I will now literally be a part of the foundation of Hollywood, immortalized there in concrete and to know that someday there'll be some young film nerd from across the country that, uh, that walks and goes, who's that, who's Kevin Feige, 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 who's that? And they can look, the, look, look me up. Um, the location here is remarkably special. When I was a freshman at USC, they, in 1991, right up the street there where that tent, white tent is, there was a set of bleachers. And I was in that crowd I had come, I think I took a cab, to watch the original cast of the Star Trek movies come around this corner and get their hands in cement at the Chinese theater. And I had a revelation there. I'm by myself, and I'm looking around at all these other people in the stands waiting to see Star Trek people, and they were all nerds. And they were all nerds, and I thought, huh, why, are they, why is everybody a nerd? And then I realized, oh, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd too, and it was an awakening, and I couldn't have been more proud and I've always felt most comfortable um, around nerds, which really means passionate people who care and love with passion. Uh, of, the, of the 34 Marvel Studios films that we have released, 28 of them have had their premiere right on this, right on this block between, North, uh, between a Highland and North Orange. We filmed over there three times at the Chinese Theater, I think. It was during a fan event on a random Tuesday in October in 2014 when Chadwick Boseman was first introduced as the Black Panther on the El Capitan stage right behind me. On the street here, on the street here, Lyle Breyer and her amazing team at Disney have put on amazing premieres. We had replicas of the Time Variance Authority out there on Hollywood Boulevard. We've had interdimensional portals built there. We've had lines of Dora Milaje warriors guarding the way. Uh, and somehow we even had uh, the Air Force fly over once for the Captain Marvel premiere. And, and I remember thinking as those planes flew over that that was as close I would come to the amazing premiere that you guys should look up from 90 plus years ago. Howard Hughes' Hell's Angels had the premiere right there at Chinese Theater and they had planes hung above Hollywood Boulevard. L look it up, they're awesome pictures. Um, and I was with my friend Chris Evans right over there when we had our own handprint ceremony uh, for Avengers. That was an idea I had while being in the stands, watching the Star Trek team do it, that, uh, that if I could ever bring the Avengers together, that maybe we would all get our hands in cement and I'd sneak in my, a, a finger or a thumb. But they let me do both my hands, which was, very, which was very nice. So needless to say, to me and to our cinematic universe, this is hallowed ground right, right here. Producing is all I've ever really wanted to do, ever since I knew it was a thing that a person could do and to be able to do it alongside the most talented actors and storytellers in the business is more than I could ever have asked for. Ryan, I am very proud to be the newest member of the Deadpool filmmaking team, and it's a pleasure, and I can't wait for audiences to see it tonight. Tonight. And as Hugh uh, so beautifully said, uh, one of the, I'm one of the original filmmakers going back 25 years on X-Men, and as you say, this full circle moment is incredibly special. 
uh, and you coming back here, donning the claws again from Marvel Studios, and putting on the yellow suit for the first time, which we were not allowed to do 25 years ago. My partner at uh, Marvel Studios, Ludi Esposito, you're an incredible filmmaker, an incredible storyteller, an incredible speechwriter. Let's hear it again for Lou. Holy mackerel. Uh, I will always be grateful to John Favreau uh, for hiring you on Iron Man 1. And we've been together ever since. Uh, and to Lawrence Shuler Donner, who gave me my break in this business. Uh, thank you. I learned so much from you, working for you. I've learned so much since then. I'm so happy you're here today. Avi Arad, who couldn't be here today, hired me at Marvel Studios. And believe me when I tell you, it is his passion and his vision and his deep held belief of what these characters could be up on the big screen that has brought us to this moment right now. Thank you to Alan Bergman, who is our rock, who from day one working with Disney has supported us in every decision, big and small. He always has our back and it allows us to do what we love to do. So thank you, Alan, very, very much. To Bob Iger, uh, who couldn't be here, uh, thank you for everything. Bob changed everything for me, for Marvel. When he purchased Marvel is really when he purchased Marvel a little bit based on what we had done before, but I think a lot in the belief of what we could do in the future. And that belief meant a lot and continues to mean a lot to us. And then what did he do 10 years later? He bought Fox, which among many other things, allowed us to get the mutants back and the X-Men back and the Fantastic Four back and lead to this moment right here. So thank you for that. To my colleagues at Marvel and Disney, Steve and Brad, Nate, Jonathan, Trin, who couldn't be here. You are not just uh, my colleagues, my collaborators. You are not just my friends from work, you're my friends. Assad, everyone, Ryan, you are, it is a joy every day for the last almost 20 years, as Lou said. It is very unusual in this business for a group of creative people to be working together for decades and we do it because we all get along really well and we all are good, good friends. And especially to my wife, Caitlin, to my daughter, Ella, to my son, Eric. I dreamed, I dreamed a lot of dreams when I, when I moved out here 30 plus years ago, um, but I never dreamed that the most successful partnership and the most successful co-productions and the most important thing in my life would be the family that I get to go home to every single day. I love you, love you very, very much. I love you very much. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm not up here because of anything I did by myself. Nobody uh, makes this many movies by themselves. I had all this help along the way, and I really think that is why filmmaking is the greatest art form, because it is a collaboration each and every day. It's why we put tags at the end of our movies. Do you like the tags we put at the end of our movies? It's, I like them because it makes people, encourages people to sit and watch all of the names of the people that made the movie and learn what the positions are and learn who the people were, much like walking on this boulevard encouraged me to learn and to grow and to enter this business that I love so much and I look forward to being a part of for the rest of my life. Uh, getting a star on the Walk of Fame seemed about as likely as Disney releasing an R-rated film with Marvel characters in it, but here we are. Today both are happening. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.